page six now. They say when one door closes, another opens. Former White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders announced on Thursday that she would be joining Fox News as a contributor. Sanders will make her debut before Fox and Friends on September 6th, providing political commentary across the channel's different platforms. But other members of the media say it demonstrates the revolving door between Fox News and the Trump administration. Well, less than 24 hours after those comments, CNN announced that it had hired fired F former FBI director Andrew McCabe as a contributor. McCabe, who authorized Robert Mueller's investigation, was fired in 2018 after the DOJ inspector general said he leaked to the media and lied to investigators about it. Critics point out that McCabe now joins another controversial figure, such as former DNI James Clapper and former CIA director John Brennan. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, so before I get to the latter part of that, I want to talk about Sarah Sanders. What's your take on, first of all, her joining Fox News, and secondly, the media's response to that news? Sarah Sanders is one of the most articulate women that has ever been prominent in American politics. Uh, her news, um, I would say, press conferences and news briefings were among the most well-attended ratings-wise because she is a walking encyclopedia of what is going on in the White House. Now that she is on her own and free to sign up somewhere, uh, Fox was right to grab her. Keep in mind, uh, Alex, when she's on the air, there's going to be somebody on the other side to counter her most of the time. Fox is very famous for bringing in both sides of the equation. So for those that feel it's going to be a Trump love fest, there will be somebody on the other side to counter her. She's not a newscaster. She's a commentary person. And there will be uh, opposing views to the Sarah Sanders take on almost everything she's going to talk about. Yeah, it's interesting, too, because I don't necessarily remember CNN saying anything when Fox News hired Donna Brazil, who was the former CNN contributor, former DNC head, who literally gave questions to Hillary Clinton during a debate. I mean, if you talk about dishonesty or lying, I mean, that's the peak of it. I mean, that's quite literally cheating. But I do want to move on to the other part of this conversation, and that's, of course, Andrew McCabe. What's your take on Andrew McCabe joining CNN as a contributor? Well, there's a couple things, Alex. Number one, Andrew McCabe, if he was treated equally like other people in the Trump administration, he'd already be locked up. Uh, he has been uh, accused of lying uh, at least four times to investigators, three times under oath. Um, he's very famous for leaking information contrary to federal law and <clears throat> his oath as a Justice Department official. I'm not surprised he's going to CNN because CNN is the I hate Trump all day network. And as a result, he belongs uh, in a group like that. Keep in mind, CNN ratings have been plummeting steadily month over month. They're down to 25th overall on cable, which means decorating channels, animal channels, shopping networks are above them in the ratings. In the news department, their top rated show out of the 24 hour news cycle is ranked, I believe, 18th, which is Cuomo. So Fox dominates. MSNBC is second. There is no third, fourth or fifth. You have to go to 18 to find CNN. Dropping Andrew McCabe into that mix is only going to make it worse. The hate Trump screamathon at CNN is not producing ratings. And this is not going to help. Yeah, and you know, I'm not complaining about it because a lot of those viewers are coming here. Welcome new viewers. <laughs> but anyway, I probably shouldn't promote that. But nonetheless, there is something interesting to be said as far as a business model plan that also is not good. I mean, I would get why CNN would bring on someone who's anti-Trump. That's what they do. And they're, they're now actually putting people to the side, such as uh, Steve Cortez. He's no longer on the air at CNN anymore. They won't put him on. But regarding Andrew McCabe, you bring up the fact that there's been criminal referrals against him. We're still waiting for the three separate investigations into his actions. We heard that there was criminal referrals not only for him, but also James Comey, isn't it kind of just inevitable that something is going to come out against Andrew McCabe sometime in the near future? And there you go. He's a CNN contributor, therefore delegitimizing their operations once again. Quite frankly, Alex, I don't know how they can be any worse delegitimized in the minds of the viewing public. They hooked the network to the Russian collusion story so firmly. They had every pundit on CNN uh, debating how many years Trump would be eligible for prison for being a Russian stooge. Lo and behold, 
the miraculous report that they were waiting for, that they were depending on, that they promoted 24-7 came out, no collusion, right? No mm -hmm. obstruction. And all of a sudden, the ratings fell off a cliff. But they refused to abandon the we hate Trump narrative. This just makes it worse. I don't know how they could go lower in the ratings. They're going to get to the point where everybody on cable is above them. And right now, there are cartoon networks outdrawing CNN. Wow, what a fall from grace from the previous days when CNN was where people went for news. But in those days, Alex, it was news. It wasn't commentary where people like Brian Stelter or um, Cuomo or Don Lemon all day long are listing the reasons why Trump is a horrible human being, deserves to be impeached, and probably should go to jail. That's not news. Yeah. That's commentary. And people are rejecting it. And, you know, it's a shame, too, because I know that there are good reporters at NBC, at CNN, but it doesn't matter because the entire network now is failing because of the, the actions of a couple individuals at the top who pushed the same narrative. And you can look at the ratings. It dropped off as soon as the Mueller report came out because their viewers knew they weren't getting accurate information. But, Barry, thank you very much for joining us tonight.